Oh, well, thank you very much. I was, uh, I was out at the, uh, the library today. I called a cab to get back. This is weird. Uh, uh, co-op, the lady said. I said, yeah, the name's Barker. I'm just at uh, McGill here in front of the library. And the lady goes, uh, did you want a cab? No, I'm just letting you know where I am. That's all. I, I'm visiting in town. I know you like to keep tabs on people. So yeah. if I go somewhere else, I'll call. Don't worry about that. Yeah, of course they want a cab. Why else do people call you? Now I'm curious. What are you wearing? <laughs> she tells me uh, he'll be there shortly. Well, can you give me a little better idea? So she goes, he won't be long. <laughs> the worst is when they go, uh, he'll be there in no time. <laughs> like, I'm no physicist, but logically that means either he's already there or he's never coming, right? <laughs> Just let me know, I can get on with my day. I, I'm not a good driver, that's, I'm dependent on the cabs, I'm, I'm absent-minded, that's my problem. I, I, I drift into the other lane, I constantly have people shaking their fist at me and calling me a bonehead or you moron, I don't care, they're going way faster than I am, I'm never going to see these people again in my life. But it's not like I'm going to take it to heart, roll down the window of the car, you don't know me as a whole person. I have other qualities besides being a bad driver, oh sorry. It runs in the family, I think. Uh, I have a cousin who suffers from uh, attention deficit disorder. He's asked me to mention this at my shows. He's been uh, trying to raise awareness by uh, wandering across Canada. <laughs> <clears throat> my aunt, I found this out, my aunt, perfect combination of fatalist and optimist. She fell down the stairs, broke her leg, and just laid there going, am I ever glad that's over with? <laughs> You ever, uh, you ever look up the word dictionary in the dictionary? A little hand comes out and smacks you in the head. <laughs> I don't even know when that would come up. Here, hand me the word book. I want to check something there. Oh, this is where uh, the word potato is defined in Webster's Dictionary as a farinaceous tuber. You figure if somebody doesn't know what a potato is, a farinaceous tuber is going to clear it up for them? Aren't they going to be looking at that going, oh, look, more words. <laughs> this book's stupid. The American Standard Dictionary defines potato as potato, noun, potato, you know, potato. <laughs> uh, I, I suffer from arachnophobia, if, uh, not the, uh, the fear of spiders, the uh, French version, which is the fear of peanut butter. You gotta have fun with the language, huh? I, I was uh, up northern Ontario a while ago doing a show, and I wanted to get a ginger ale afterwards, and the sign on the machine said uh, mix, yeah? which is a verb. It shows you what they do with soft drinks up north. How do you even talk to people like that? Hey, go get some mix. Oh, I don't have any spend. This lady stopped me outside uh, today. She goes, excuse me, sir, do you have the correct time? <laughs> no, I, I have the incorrect time. <laughs> it's, it's not a quarter to three, I can tell you that much. I, <laughs> I, I gotta go, actually. I, I could be late, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about Pythagoras, the, uh, the Greek mathematician. Do you, do you ever think his neighbor used to get mad at him for cutting across the lawn? Okay. It's shorter, I can prove it. That's what I'm How about Pavlov? I wonder whether Pavlov was ever sitting in a bar and a phone rang and he went, oh no, I forgot to feed the dog. <laughs> I was watching this thing on the, uh, the pink flamingo. It was kind of cracking me up. The narrator guy is going, well, the pink flamingo keeping an ever vigilant eye for predators. Well, no wonder, he's bright pink. <laughs> this poor bird, his whole life is, oh, this is no good. <laughs> I gotta get out of here, I'm the wrong color for this place. <laughs> I didn't fare very well in the camouflage department. Look at me, I'm hot pink. <laughs> Why didn't God just make my bird call into, ta-da! Looking around for construction sites so he can hide up against the insulation. Mm. 
Here's another thing that's become uh, quite popular is the, uh, the free-range chicken. Huh? People willing to pay extra money so the, the chicken can run around and have some fresh air, you know, have a little bit of a good time. Seems kind of noble, huh? although he still ends up covered in breadcrumbs and deep-fried. <laughs> Uh, it's, not like, uh, it's not like we're taking the moral high ground on it. I mean, the meat's better, right? It's, it'd be a little tougher moral choice if the meat was worse. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think, has this chicken been working out or something? <laughs> but no, the meat's better, that's why. Same with rabbit. I don't know if you eat rabbit, but uh, if the rabbit's been all cooped up, the meat's not as good as if the rabbit's had a chance to, to hop around a little bit. So, uh, or if you can get a hold of a rabbit that's been a children's pet and it's been loved and, and cuddled. Oh. Yeah, the meat just falls off the bone, folks. Oh, man. I stopped by this little uh, boutique today doing my, uh, my shopping and this lady right away coming up to help. Oh, sir, can I help you? I said, you know what, actually, I'm just looking for uh, men's underwear. So she goes, uh, is it for yourself? <laughs> no, it's, it's the boss's birthday. Eh? <laughs> the guy's all chipped in and put me in charge. <laughs> Something with the Teletubbies on it would be good if you have that. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. Thanks so much. One more time for Irwin Parker.